Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4. And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 116, we're doing another extreme event called Like the Wind. It's one race, it's five laps, and it takes like 10 minutes. It goes by Like the Wind. But uh, we got this Mercury Cougar XR7 from 1967 on display right now. That was one of the prize cars for completing the S license yesterday. Now that we have that, we can of course do Like the Wind. We have 90.4% game completion. We're probably only going to pick up like 0.1 or 0.2 again. I am going to use the pace car for this race. I ran all kinds of testing to see what my options were and looked up some videos. And I think this is very much possible. Also, the lights flash on it. That the same lights from all the license tests. This has to be done. Just because it can be done. I would like to do this without buying all the upgrades, but I know that I can if I do buy every single one of them. I think for the most part, I need the transmission full customized, which that will be in drivetrain, and I need stage four turbo kit. I definitely need NOS just so I can get it through all the freaking wind resistance. Look at that. Please wait in progress crap. I don't need any of this stuff. Um, I never tested it without driving assist, so that means getting through the gears is going to be tough. I have to figure that out. We'll go to turbo. We'll get the stage 4 turbo kit. Then we have to go to engine to get the nitrous. We're already spending more credits than the race is worth. It's only 20,000. But it will be 200 A spec points if I can pull it off with this car. And there's also like the intercooler, there's the exhaust. There's a bunch of uh, engine upgrades that do amount to quite a bit, like the port polish, engine balancing, displacement up is available in this car, the racing chip, but this is what I want right now. And uh, the reason I need transmission full customized is so I can extend that final gear. I'm probably just going to go with the preset though. And let's see if that does it. And if I can make this happen, I'll be very happy. And I'll still be pretty happy whenever I pull it off just by getting all the upgrades. But I would like to do it with the least amount as possible. Because it's like 150,000 just to get all those upgrades. And I've already spent like almost 100,000, I think. Yeah, there it is. Uh, any car permitted, any tires. I do have to worry about the car sliding around on these tires going so fast because it's not used to doing that. But we'll see. Ugh. Okay. I had Popeyes. Made me shit myself. I'm about to take a shit on this field. Um, I'm gonna go transmission, full customize, and in my practicing, 23 did it. And you can see that top, it's going off the side. That means basically speeds that I can't achieve without draft or some extra force. I mean, that's how I take it. And I uh, did the uh, driving assists. I don't even know where that is. Okay. It's in the suspension section. I guess that makes sense. So once again, I did not practice with the driving aids, so I don't know what it takes. I'm using the NOS right now, guys. I'm using the NOS, and I'm not getting anywhere near the speeds that I need, so yeah, I just don't have enough horsepower. Intercooler racing is 3,000, and that adds a ton of horsepower. I had like 850 or something whenever I was practicing. And then there's an exhaust part, the, the racing one. Could add that. That's a bit. It doesn't look too expensive. I also did a bunch of weight reduction, so I guess I can do that. Now that, you don't have to wait through. I'll go ahead and fast forward the weight reductions. Now I'm starting to actually expect some wheel spin. Yet again, I am using all the NOS. It's almost all gone. But the car just doesn't have enough power. So that, all the NOS is gone and I have no one to draft up it. God dang it. I did the turbo. I did the exhaust. I did the weight reduction. I didn't do all these other engine upgrades. But even then, I don't think this stuff is that much. But you know, we'll do all four of these things. So yeah, we're going to drop beneath like uh, 800,000 still be like 770 something probably we'll see but it's just so frustrating because i hate having to spend this much money but this is maximum a spec points i was thinking maybe 
Some of these I didn't need. But that right there is 32 horsepower. This racing chip should get me to the, the 857 or whatever that I was at when I was testing. Yes. All right, well, I already know that this does it, but it's a matter of getting through the gears without the assists. So here is the lineup for this third attempt at this race. We got the Mazda 787, the Minolta, Toyota, Audi R8, and the Sauber Mercedes. The Ford GT race car is like the least competent, obviously. But I know that's not gonna drag down the A-spec rate. Yeah, I'm gonna break the pace car, okay? I just love my flashing lights. But getting through the gears is the real problem, and I just don't know how to do that. Let's go like three fourths throttle. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Third gear. Now it's just a matter of getting into the draft and getting off the NOS. And then saving the NOS for whatever I don't have anyone to draft with. Yeah, you know, like in this situation. You can see the car make a, a huge movement whenever I don't have the, the NOS on anymore. I'm using them. Get on some more. Oh, I'm tight. Oh, I hit him. Man, we're going 240 miles an hour. Let's get on the NOS again some more. Get that speed back up. Oh, it runs out so fast. We're so far away. I'm gonna use some more. It looks like I'm maxing out like 241 or whatever, but no, it's just me having to get on and get off. Once I have their draft, I don't need the NOS anymore. We're 1.7 back. Just need to close the gap. Come on! Well, we're out of NOS. We're out of nitrous. They're right there! Go. That's as fast as the car is going to get to the gears with, without traction control on. Why we wouldn't have traction control on is beyond me, but I don't have, have it on because I guess I'm a purist or something. Yeah, I'm going 240 and all that. I don't know how to close the gap. Well, I've got this guy to draft off of since my car won't go fast on its own. Why? Why you have to slow down? Okay, we'll use some of him. I mean, I'm going 240 whatever. And I've got Nas. I need you to catch up to me. Use some of that drafting shit. Catch up to me. Come on. Catch up to me. Let's make this happen. Oh my god, I'm slowing down. I mean, I'm on a full throttle, but I'm slowing down because this guy takes so long. Make the move. Make the pass. Come on, ding dong. Make the pass. Alright, now when you get up to... 240, 240 whatever. And then I can pull out, get on the NOS. And I need to get to their draft. And if I can't, then I always have him right behind me. Once I run out of NOS, then there's no closing the gap up again. Come on. I don't know what the distance is or anything, but we're increasing speed and I'm not using NOS. So yeah, we finally got their draft. Yeah, I'm going to be late to work. I work at 11, and it is 11. But then again, I write down the freaking road. That's what I get for eating Popeyes. So now I have NOS. I should just draft and slingshot with these guys and then use the NOS whenever we get to, like, the, the final corner, final stretch. So that was a lot of money spent to get the car to be able to do this. The Audi R8 is still in it, by the way. Oh. I thought he would drop off eventually, but no, he just needed the draft. He doesn't have that much uh, starting acceleration. Yeah, it's about two minute laps. I mean, all the other laps are going to be faster. And just because we're up to speed now. I expect it to be like 15 seconds faster or 10 seconds, something like that. I just need to sit, 
on this guy's butthole and suck up to his butthole for the next three laps. The next three laps up until like this point right here off the corner. That's really all I got to do. He's, once you run out of the NOS and you don't have someone to draft with, you basically lost because you have no way of increasing your speed. You just continue to decelerate and never get to like 240. The fastest car wants to go in the corners is 230 and then in the straights maybe 232, I don't know. Also, yeah, the AI have a habit of just like hitting the brakes. <laughs> hitting the brakes whenever they, they go into the turns at test course, full speed, if their cars are fast enough. But what was strange is that we would, did that driving mission with all the GTRs and they were hitting the brakes and it's like, why are you doing it? <laughs> Going like 150 miles an hour. I'm pushing this guy. The Salva Mercedes C9 is barely hanging on, but he's got the Audi R8 behind him. No, don't pull out. As much as it is a good uh, thing to have a pull-out game, this is not the time. We use the pull-out game for the very end. Make it last. <laughs> See, the Audi R8 tries to pass, but like, he doesn't have a big enough run, so it doesn't work. They don't understand that about the drafting crap. So, yeah, by the way, our second lap was 11 seconds faster than our first. Um... I don't know if this one will be faster or slower because we've been drafting the entire time. Because I don't feel like I'm closing any gaps right now, so it might be slower. Me moving forward to the field while they're just running full speed, it might be like a second or two slower. Okay, it was just like 0.3 slower. Never mind. Yeah, they're just hanging in there. If you look on the map, you've got the 787B and the, the 4GT that just hanging all the way back there. I'm guessing, that, yeah, the 4GT is last, because that would make sense. And I guess I'm kind of shocked to see that the Mazda 787 not be a factor in this. And maybe he just got held up, and since he didn't have someone to draft with, he got stuck in that scenario. Because I think in Gran Turismo 3, in Like the Wind, the... The Mazda 77 is the one to beat. But then again, none of the cars in this pack up here are in that game. Yeah, and all four of these cars in this pack, these these really fast cars, all four of them are so amazing. <laughs> none of them are in Gran Turismo 3, so that's why the 787B is just being outran. Weird is I'm not actually touching this guy's bumper. We're just kind of got a little bubble between us. Yeah, I've still got those two bars of NOS that I'm going to use right off the final corner. Maybe what I should do is I should get some practice with that one. I'm going to drop off a little bit. I know I can be quite a ways behind. I just want to see how strong the draft is. Is he taking a pit stop? This... This man is taking a pit stop. What? It's a five lap race. It's a five lap race. What? Oh my god. Well, I've got to pull out from ahead of these guys so I can set up a run. I don't want to be in front and be vulnerable, okay? I want to be the guy taking the run. No one ever talks about how the Sauber Mercedes over here, um, he has a, like a very odd looking bumper. Yeah, look at, look at that. Oh, don't wreck my car. He's got gray on one side and then lime green on the other. <laughs> That's weird. Dude, I'm just trying to ride your ass. God damn. It's, it's, it's very easy to lose control of this car. Like, once you're sliding, you might as well just wreck it. Ugh. His butt cheeks are not smooth like the Minolta was. Uh, I guess that makes sense. The Minolta's flat. This guy... He's got all these bars and shit, but I don't think they counted that in. I was trying to practice last lap and see if I could back off and then get a run. See, they don't pit at the end of races. They just pit like the lap before or some shit. Okay, so I want to get off. I swear, if I lose this race, it'd be very embarrassing. Don't hit me. Alright. So the draft. That is the look back. God damn it, man. 
I'm stupid over here. I always press look back instead of NOS. Now get on that NOS again. Okay, we're away. We got it. 200 A spec points. And we spent so much money to get it done with the, the pace car and its flashing lights. So yeah, 4 GT finishes last and the Minolta throws the race away. You didn't believe that I went to Popeyes. I went to Popeyes. And the prize car for Like the Wind Bullseye is the Volkswagen W12 Nardo Concept from 2001. I figured I would have gotten this for like a Volkswagen one make race. Um, I actually really love this car. Of course, it's got no sale price because it's a concept, but I will hop into it and put it on display. The real question here is, why is this a concept car? It should be an actual production super sports car. Look at this thing. Volkswagen needs something like this, aside from all these uh, Beetles and Lupos and Golfs, hatchbacks and commuter cars. Or maybe they do, and I, I just haven't done the Volkswagen research, but we're at 90.6% game completion. I was supposed to be at work 11 minutes ago. Then again, many of my reliefs have been late before, way later than I'm going to be, and it is just down the road. But uh, the freaking Popeyes maybe shit myself. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.